Okay, so I wanted to get a bit more of an update and a little bit of a video just to kind of show you going through schema. Um, the reason being just because, you know, some people have been sending me emails and, you know, getting a little bit confused about what it is um, and really how to implement it. Something that's really important to understand is schema is not a magic wand that's not going to automatically rank you. Um, it's just something to help, all right? Um, it can be very powerful if used effectively. But it's just something to help. It's not going to guarantee you rankings or anything like that. All right, so pretty much what I've got here is I've got a, a sort of like a more updated version of a, sort of like a local business schema template um, that you can actually get just by clicking the link and it'll open up and you can just kind of grab it and fill it in. But I just wanted to go through it um, just so you kind of understand it more about what it is and what to put in each area. Um, yeah, so... Cool. Right, so at the moment I've got up here for local business. Um, that's the kind of type, so obviously we're looking specifically at a local business here. Um, this actually can actually be a number number of things if you're wanting to kind of go a little bit deeper. Um, so if you head over to Schema and then you know go get started. And then if we go to schema.org types and properties. Now we're heading to local business again. I mean, there's so many things you can have, but you know, just kind of looking at some of the basic things. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can kind of see a little bit more specific types um, that you can have uh, for your website, depending on what it is. Um, I was looking for something along the lines of internet marketing and stuff like that, but I've not found anything yet. Um, but you know, if you're going to professional service, um, just for an example, and you know, maybe you're an attorney. A plumber or something like that, you know, like dentist, electrician, something like that. Maybe that's what you do. So instead of you putting local business, you actually want to be putting one of these in instead. So I'll just grab general contractor. And all you want to do is you just kind of want to grab this here, copy it, and paste it in there instead. All right. Then you can validate it, and you'll see that, you know, your general contractor now. All right. Kind of just gives a little bit more, um, like, Specificity to what it is you actually are. I think I just made up a word there. Okay, um, here is this, like the next. This, this next part here is really, really, really important. You get it right. Okay, um, all this has got to match the exact same as your Google My Business profile. Okay, so make sure this name here is exactly what you are on Google My Business. Make sure your address is the exact same as what it is in Google My Business. Okay, it's extremely important. All right, um, this alternate biz name. Oh, my business name can be something that you're known for, um, known as, but you're not actually called. So, you know, you might be a plumbing company, but people might just might be typing in the owner's name, like Joe's Plumbing Company or something like that. Um, that is just kind of like what you're known other than your actual name as well. So just pop that in there. That's totally fine. That's if it's there. If you've not, you can just get rid of it or you can stick in something else that somebody might type in looking for you. Um, just add your address in here, like I said telephone number as it is as Google My Business. The URL has got to match the URL that this page is on. It's extremely important. Um, sorry, the URL that this schema template is going on. All right, that's very important. Um, obviously, your contact email. Uh, so you've got two things here. You've got image and you've got logo, okay? Um, so this business image is going to be like an image of, for example, the front of your business or you know, like sort of like a service you do, anything along those sort of lines. Um, I've actually got mine as my, a picture of me, um, as my business image. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but all you, all you need to do is you just need to go. So I got mine from my Google, my uh, business profile, went there, opened up the image and just highlighted the URL and then took that URL and just dropped it in here, okay? Um, obviously right here is your business description, whatever you want your business description to be. Uh, just talk about what you do, a couple of your services, add your address in as well if you want. And um, business logo, obviously is your business logo. If you, like if I head over to my website and just Well, let's right click, open image, a new tab. You know, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and like paste this in here. All right. And then obviously it's going to work. It's going to remove that error that I had with the logo. 
and that's you got your logo in there, okay? Um, so your price range here, I've never really messed with price range, but I've kind of got it in now. Um, this is based on what your average value is, okay? So if your average value of your product, whatever, is between zero and nine, you're going to put a $1 in there if you're like a two-figure value. If you've got a three-figure value, four-figure value of your average sale, whatever it is, that's what you want to put in. Okay. Um, opening hours, this can be pretty tricky to get correct. What you want to be putting in here is the exact opening hours that you are open. All right. Don't put anything else in here. It's really important. Um, obviously, some people can have two or maybe three different types of opening hours. So to do that, all you're going to do is you know, like, let's see, I've got like Monday to Friday here. Um, Saturday and Sunday, I've got different opening hours. So I'm going to do Sat, I'm going to do Sun, and I'm open 10 till 2. Okay, I'm going to finish, close that off with the quotes, and then when I play this, it's going to give me my two opening hours here. Okay, Monday to Friday, 9 till 5, Saturday to Sunday, 10 till 2. Okay. That's what you got to do there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just make sure you've got it quoted, and then a comma before your next opening hours, and then you don't put a comma after this one because the comma is going to the next line, so it has to go at the end of it. All right. Um, your Google My like this has map is your Google My Business map URL. All right. And um, all you're going to do like that is search for yourself on uh, maps and highlight your place. Control. And you know, Whatever you are, Mac could be Mac could be anything. Um, you know, just copy, drop it in there. All right, and that's you got your map in there. Your geo coordinates, your latitude and longitude, or your this year and this year. Really simple. Um, right in here is your same as profile. So this is your sort of you know like your your related business profiles that you've got. You know, just pop your Facebook, Yelp, and what if you're BBB.org, whatever it is, you know, just pop them in here. I mean, I think I've got like maybe, maybe like five or six, and you know, you can pop as many as you want, to be honest. Just pop them all in there, all right? Um, make sure they're just ones that are important to you. Don't put in crappy ones that don't really mean anything to you, all right? Put the good ones in there. Okay, um, and founders, you know, I just somebody add in as well who founded the company. There could be one or two people in here. Um, it's got to be, if you've got two people, then it's got to be changed. But founders type, just put your founder name. So I'd put my name, Alistair Walker, and then I would drop a couple of related social profiles that I've got in there. Okay, so that's kind of like a better version of the current schema that I've kind of got on this um, on this page at the moment. I am actually going to probably do a few more videos um, kind of looking at maybe like blog post article schema, maybe thinking about like recipe schema and going over maybe like the aggregate schema as well for those people who love to get those five stars um, under the listing on Google. Um, other than that, I hope that was helpful. You can grab, like I say, this template from the link. You just click it, it'll open up. Um, yeah. And if you want me to look at anything else for you guys, you know, just pop over here, click on discovery form, and then just take a little bit more of your time. You know, you like, I, I, I like to work with all businesses. I've not really got an issue with working with anybody, really, as long as they're a nice business. Um, or, you know, and they're, they're trying to make a positive impact in people. Fill it in. Um, I'll give you a free analysis and you can you can do what you want with it. And we can take it further if you want or if you're quite happy with what I said. Then you can implement what I'm talking about in your analysis yourself, okay? Um, like I said, hope you found that useful and thanks for listening and watching. Cheers.